a lunch break. She wants to lighten the load in the backpack. Mm -hmm. Good little spot here. I know I keep filling it with rocks. And she keeps, well, souvenirs. I found my rock. This is the one. We like them, we'll take them. I like this one. Do you like that one? All right, we cannot, there's no more exceptions. Except for that thing. <laughs> I can't pick up any more freaking rocks. Let's go, get on the bike. Well, we got three miles to, to the cataracts or whatever it's called. <laughs> 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 Catacombs. Catacombs. This thing is so heavy. What? Oh my god, look at that one. I no! will throw this. Get over it. Stop. You look picked up it. too many rocks. No, I don't have I'll any that are like you. this. I'll hold it for you. Don't look don't, at the ground. Look, please don't. Here, put it in my little penny pack thing. <laughs> How are you feeling? Kind of beat up. Yeah, me too. I told you get beat up today. You didn't believe me. Nobody's ever gonna watch this video either. They're gonna be like, you have many hours of like footage I have of us just out here like rocks. Yep. We're gonna watch it though. She has picked a rock she wants to get on top of. I don't think you can either. No, don't even try it. Well, this, I picked this rock. Okay, that's the rock. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Good old reliable Honda.
This is their version of a Wawa out here in uh, Utah. Or actually, it's just Utah, but yeah, the Maverick. Next morning in Moab, but we, uh, I guess this is the, the third morning, I believe. Uh, Jen wants to stay another night, which I guess I can't really fight with her too much on that. So we dropped 20 bucks in the box at Goose Island. It's crazy there. Everybody's fighting for sites. We had like three people stop at our site this morning, just scouting out one guy. Touch the water. You don't want to? It's silty. Very silty. <laughs> quesadilla mobila. The best quesadilla in the world. In the world. That's what I'm going to say. That's the best I've ever had. We were going to go rent a UTV in town, but uh, all the nice ones are booked up. The only ones available are like six-seater family ones. So we're going to go take the bike out and uh, go hit Willow Springs Road. What kind of poop? It's everywhere. What kind of poop is it? I don't know. Maybe from a mule? Horse poop? But it's been everywhere. Out, been sitting out in the sun. Like, look. It's all over Yeah, the people probably take... Oh, look. This almost looks like a little horse trail along the side here. On the side of the road. Now, this is Willow Springs Trail. We're going to hopefully take this into the backside of Arches. And then we just booked another day for tomorrow because we, we booked a Kawasaki Terex 1000 for tomorrow. We get Jen some wheel time. Yeah, time I'm behind not, the wheel. I'm not going home. Not going home. We're gonna stay in Moab. We just we just love it here. We're like there's so many people. Tomorrow's Friday night too. It's gonna be sweet. How many times has this bike randomly stalled on us in the last day or two? Uh, 10, 15. A bunch of times. Like randomly, it just seems. But check this out. We turn left, nothing. It turns out you go full right. Oh, bike stalled out. What's so now that I, I found that pattern, I can find the problem, and it turns out. Look at this, when I turn right, the choke is lifting up, if you see that. So that, so then I'm like, all right, must be a problem up here. Look, the choke cable, I don't know if you guys can see that, came out up here and is sitting on the, the perch. So uh, yeah, let me fix that. It just seemed like the, the bike kept like randomly stalling. Figured it out. Two strokes, smoke, I love it. Some of these trails got uh, sections that I can't bring Jen down. And honestly, a little bit big for this bike too. Uh, well, a little tight, these single tracks. That's like a little two-stroker. But she's a trooper and she'll just hop off and hike down. Because going back up where we came is not really an option. All right, you good? Just flowing the other day. You can still see all the shiny water. This is so cool looking, isn't it? Imagine we were the only tracks here. Look at how beautiful this is. You know what would be even cooler is if a flash flood came right now and we had to scurry on out of the way. We hear like oh, coming down. Look at these hill climbs over here. Yeah, this is cool. You think that could happen? 
Oh, yeah. Well, get me out of here then. Most dangerous cave in the world. A dirt cave. <laughs> With crumbling top and sides. Chris, don't go in the hole. I'm not going in the hole. over there and we were gonna go in the back side of arches but we decided we talked to guys a couple guys and they were like oh you got to check out seven mile rim so we, we came across the highway down here coming up this road and uh, yeah we're gonna go check it out so we'll we'll see what that looks like seven mile rim here we go seven mile rim hopefully it's seven mellow miles right Bunch of shelf sections where she's got to keep hopping off. Are you gonna hop on here? This is fine. Oh, yeah. Well, we might get a little squirrely. Wow, this is cool. Let me get a picture. We made it to the uranium arch. Do you wanna be somebody? If you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Your turn. Yeah, okay. You're what? So take the bike. Yeah, okay. There she goes. like we got some storms out in the distance good amount of rain but wind is blowing this way so i think we'll be I think we'll be all right let's head to the top of some of these mesas Woo, look at that view oh the camera doesn't even do this justice at all wow Well, we made it as far as we're gonna go. Just hanging out under this rock, and uh, we're gonna head back. But yeah, the old thumper did a good climb up the shelves, got us up here safely and soundly. What's that? The water's really nice in here. We should oh, get yeah. in. <laughs> That's so cool. Hot tub. Wow. Hop in. How's the water feel? <laughs> that warm. Yeah, that's actually really cool. We should definitely get some hot water and uh, hang out up here. We should stay and watch the sunset, then ride back in the frigid cold at night. I, don't think I, do that. I could hop these rocks. Like I like that. Like let's do let's it. Go over there and hop rocks. Okay.
Nice sunset here. All right. Oh, there it goes. It's okay. It's fine. I knew it was going to fall. Good morning. I think this is our fifth day now in Moab. I'm starting to lose track, uh, but we decided we're going to stay again today. And we started the morning off by getting $7 showers at the Moab Rec Center. And I'm just waiting on Jen, but then we have an 11 a.m. side-by-side booked to go hit some trails. Hopefully get Jen some time behind the wheel. And here she comes. You ready for another off-road event adventure? Yeah. If you were to guess, how many days, which which day is this here? How many days we've been here? Here? This yeah. is day five. Yeah, day five. It's and crazy. Like day six or seven without a shower. Yeah. Came up Hell's Revenge a little bit, and here's the overlook back down into Moab. Uh, apparently, there's, there's a bunch of dinosaur prints up here too. So let's let's find those. Well, here's a replica one. Uh, I actually remember reading about this. Somebody stole a dinosaur print. They chiseled chiseled the whole rock out, and then the guy ended up ditching it in the river. I think this is one here, right here, babe. There's a dinosaur print. Yes, that was this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. He said that was his stride. From there to there is his stride. Wow. Left foot and right foot. First problem detected. I thought I smelled fuel when we were driving. And check this out. We are leaking like a sieve. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not good. We're gonna have to bring this back. Yeah, I do. Oh, actually, never mind. It's the cap leaking. Ah, the cap just wasn't shut. <clears throat> about that. And I guess since we're leaning a little bit. Wow. Yeah, it's a good thing. The camera doesn't do it justice when you're going up and down these in the in the rig it's definitely it feels crazy but uh jen was not thinking uh we're not going to continue on down this we're going to go, go over to cane creek i think
gonna take over for a little bit. See how she does. It's even tighter on this side. So, note to self, don't buy one of these if you're six foot three. I love being in control. You're unnatural. And you're probably free now. How come you wouldn't do it? No, this feels great. I trust you. Totally trust you. Just, you know, be careful. Don't drive yourself a cliff. What? Just don't drive yourself a cliff and I won't be scared. compared to this. I just can't believe you wanted me to drive on there. You would have been fine. It was like you plummet to your death if you make one ounce of a wrong turn. That's it. Throttle failure right here. Electronic throttle control just go berserk or something. Man. An hour from town to get to Hurrah Pass. And uh, we're gonna try to go get to the catacombs. the catacombs which is some rock formations and I can do it I just don't want my foot in my hand you know yeah this is cool definitely cool Yeah, we can keep going, huh? No, it stops. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, I love this. Hi. Okay. What's buggy? ride we finally made it to the brewery and now we gotta we gotta drop this off otherwise we're gonna miss our return time and get charged but got some free dispersed camping and here's a spot for tonight we decided to relocate down the road a little bit and it's, uh, it's just a little bit more scenic kind of a lot more dirt bikes over here too here you go and you got the pins in a few miles up willow springs road is uh, this old dinosaur tracks spot pretty neat examples of it roughly 165 million years ago there was dinosaurs walking along this beach Unbelievable to think about that. Isn't it funny that dinosaurs are considered like science fiction? Yeah, it's crazy. And they're real. Look at these roads. Everything's just so different out here. It's like, yeah, 
the diversity. I mean, over in the distance, you got snowy mountains. So we're in the backside of Arches National Park right now. We've been in the park for a few miles. We're going to try to find some arches. Technically, you can't have off-highway vehicles in here, but I wouldn't call this an off-highway vehicle. Do you see the shadow? I do. Lots of people here. I'll hike up and check out this arch, the windows trail. So what do you say, we came in the back way? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Almost to the window. You get more now, Jen, or what? Nope. Uranium arch was our private arch yesterday, and now this is the community arch. This one's definitely better. <laughs> this one's better. Yeah. That's nice. And there's the boring side outside the arch. You want to go see the other one? No. I hear it's a little bit different than that one. It just hits different, they say. Good morning. Good morning. Sixth day in Moab. Uh, I think we're going to roll out today, though. So we're just doing some coffee, bacon, and maybe do a little bit more riding than the hit head out. Did you guys get stuck? Yeah. yeah. Dad went to go get help. He's gonna be back soon. Gotcha. Oh, well, you, he's gonna have somebody pull you guys out. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, I figured I'd make sure you guys are good. Yeah, these are the ones. What'd you find? You can give that to someone. That's pretty. Uh, doing a little rock hunting in this riverbed. Well, wash we'll call it. Some of these are beautiful on the inside, and you wouldn't even know it though. Yeah, until you cut them open. You gotta know what you're looking for. Can't judge a book by its cover. All right, let's roll before you fill our backpack with rocks. We are rolling out. Just rolled by this one to check it out. Jen loves car shows. <laughs> if you know Bart, give him a holder. We'll get him his trophy. How about this J10? <laughs> Back when Jeep Perfect. made pickup trucks, Ed. All right, we're gonna go on to the best engineer while we wait for Bart. All right, best engineer. This guy just got a trophy. Off-road recovery tow truck here. Heck yeah. Look at that. This is definitely the sickest custom truck here. I love how you hit the front winch, side winch, side winch on the other side, and a rear winch. Well, of course a rear winch. Solid axle trailer. No suspension. Trail Mater, that's the name of the channel and the truck. Awesome. How many years does it take you to build this truck, or how long um, you owned it? Well, it's still a work in progress, but yeah, uh, I think she's been going for five years now. Sweet. Well, so, yeah. Looks like you're getting a lot of work done with it. And oh, like, yeah. She she's a money busy. maker. Stays busy. All right, man. Hey, we'll drop that link down below. Trail Mater. Yeah, thanks, right. sir. Moab was the turnaround of this trip, and we're now heading southeast toward Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is about five and a half hours. Uh, we got like five, six days to get back home, so we're gonna inch our way, but but hopefully uh, we're gonna have to push through, but hopefully have some fun too. We're back in Colorado. Up like a bunch of dark balls. Jen made a stop. Let's see what she wants to see. Hey, look, they got one of the dinosaurs from the the. Sinclair and they repaint it. You see that? Yeah. Doesn't it look like one? Yeah. This is the antique corral. This is oh, cute. this is nice. I love it. Hi. Hello. Hello. This place is awesome. I know. <laughs> Where are we? The antique corral. With this lots of authentic movie. stuff. No, we're in Colorado still. So many cast iron pots. And that was just the ones that made the rack. They're ice skates. <laughs> that is awesome. It's most, you should buy these. I don't want them. How much are they? 
That is so cool. If these guys here were size 12, I would totally get them. Look at these winter spiked boots. Whoever organized this store is genius. I mean, it's so neatly done. You have the whole John Deere section, the wooden duck section, the camera section, cowboy hat section, saddles, rocking horse section, board games, pottery. Well, this was definitely a neat store and we didn't even check out everything in the outdoor, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we got some horseshoes and uh, some things to hang stuff on. And they know the value of this stuff because everything's kind of appropriately priced in there. Really cool store though. We just crossed into the Oot Mountain Reservation. There's the Oot Mountain Casino there. I don't know if I'm saying that right. She wants to stop in a Native American owned casino. So we're gonna check it out. Here it is. The Great Seal of the Oot Mountain Oot Tribe. 24 hours, seven days a week. Ute Casino, Ute Mountain Casino. I put a $50 blackjack bet down in the name of B-Rock and uh, hit that and then lost 25, but we're leaving up 25. Got some free coffee too. And this little cookie is starting to look filthy. Ah, It's pronounced Ute, not Oot. I don't know what I was saying in the beginning. I think I was saying Oot. <laughs> Oot. <laughs> to stop in the dunes ohv recreation area That's some blm land here and see what it's all about and then we got three hours left of driving until we get to what was it the journey koa uh, just east of uh, albuquerque and they have a 24 hour hot tub so we're super stoked for that because we're not getting there until probably 9 30 p.m or something I'll wake everybody up but we're gonna just see what this is about real quick reviews were talking negative about this place because I guess all the trash it said but I mean looking around I have seen a little bit of glass but I guess the the sand keeps blowing and covers it all up and pretty neat riding spot really it's uh, it's pretty awesome Jen wanted to see some dunes on the trip so we we got some dunes I guess looking close there is quite a bit of glass and trash around here but yeah, it seems to get soaked back up into the sand and this is just outside Farmington New Mexico there's actually a casino off in the distance right there too. We could, apparently they have the most jackpots ever, the billboard said. Yeah. You're fine. The front tires is going all over the place. <laughs> Good little sunset ride or what? Yeah, it was worth it. Totally worth it. Now let's get to that 24 hour hot tub. Richard, have a good evening and enjoy enjoy yourself. All right, Thank thanks, you. Richard. We appreciate it. Okay, sorry for showing up so late. Me too. So we go all the way around the park, wake everybody up with their Cummins 12 valve. Oh, it's like we're gonna uh, make it's it only right. uh, 10 30 p.m., so this we're not showing up like too late. 50, but we're gonna stop in this little Mexican nightclub on Route 66. <laughs> a good time over there definitely a different experience and now we are doing what we came for at this campground the jacuzzi 24 hours jacuzzi 
We've never seen a 24 hour jacuzzi in a campground, ever. Good morning, guys. So our stay here at the KOA was wonderful. Nice, clean establishment with that 24 hour hot tub. And uh, now we're gonna hit the road and head to Amarillo where I Klein's Corner Truck Stop. Worth stopping since 1934. Yeah, it looks good, minus the tag in the front. Made in the US too. Got it. Jen was cooking in the sun. We came up with a genius design. Yep. In there where they would have brothels and would dose the Johns up with LSD. The Route 66 through Santa Rosa. It's so cool. You, I mean, it's a shame, really, but you see all these old abandoned gas stations. Look at the old, the old style uh, lamps that they had. These are like, it reminds me of the 50s or 60s or something. But look at these. Oh yeah, that's cool. And there is this little abandoned playground we're gonna go see Saul on. Woo! Ah, I need to adjust. Hold on, stop bouncing. Yeah. Are you good? No, the seat's digging into my butt. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this, to me, is what it's all about. Says modern restrooms. Clay clay tile walls. <coughs> Pretty cool. We'll have to find the next rest stop and probably used to be a big sign right here. Modern restrooms. Come on in. Oh look, this was like a cute little section of Route 66 where it had a divider in it. Very modern for back in the you know, 40s or 50s, they would put these dividers on. That was like unheard of. Oh. Oh. Is that the old post office? Is that what it says? It's the old Glen Rio post office, possibly. Is it? Yeah. Is this it? Oh, all right. Here's the border. Wow, Texas ah. maintains their road a little bit better than New Mexico. Oh, there's no sign, though. However, there is this cool... A motel cafe we can probably get a couple drinks at we made it made it to texas oh boy. are you disappointed there's no sign a little bit but this is a cooler way to get in big old texas welcome oh here you go babe texas 66. there we go this is a motel cafe
and behind it is the little motel which is all graffitied up don't breed it says and then it's crossed out it says do breed <laughs> all right i'm worried about people living yeah squatters like all the bullet holes in the wall too i mean all right let's skidoot moving west best yeah. darn beer in the world here it is the free 72 ounce steak at the big texas texan steak ranch are you gonna are you gonna miss you the parking lot that? or what we're gonna do it i'm gonna go look at else that thing's on a trailer with a 72 ounce steak. I ordered the Rocky Mountain Oyster. <laughs> some, uh, some calf balls here, huevos. Calf? Right, well, yeah. Bull. No, calf. It's really? when they castrate the calf. Oh, I guess. really? Yeah. Well, I feel kind of bad about that. Well, that definitely ain't no bull ball, that's for sure. All right, well, let's get the reaction. Don't dip it all in sauce. I want to know what it tastes like. <laughs> Pretty good. Does it taste like an oyster? <laughs> no, it's it's good though. <laughs> you try one. Your turn. Tastes like chicken. How's the filet? It's spectacular. <laughs> so glad we didn't have to wait an hour for it. Oh my god, so tender. Professional spoon stack over here. <laughs> Look at that. That is incredible. What's your name? Serena. Serena. Wow. That, she, we watched her for like 10 minutes. Turn this to this. I lost a wife and a girlfriend somewhere along the way. And I'll be looking. This wraps up our night in Amarillo. We were going to sleep behind the Big Texan, home of the 72 ounce free steak. And uh, yeah, we had a good good night at the bar. What, what do you think? Good time? We met three truck yeah, drivers. And, Turn uh, the camera around on you. And we met three truck drivers and Gary, awesome guy. He he ended up buying our steak dinner for us. He, pick the tab up so we, we tried paying it back the best we could but it was a good time it was a good night so thank you gary for that that was awesome and uh yeah we'll see where tomorrow brings us you comfortable sleeping next to all these big regs <laughs> yeah i like it i like the sound of uh their engines she likes it we're sleeping in this back parking lot with a bunch of big rigs and there's some police officers down there too that were just passing us when i was trying to film but uh yeah we'll see how it goes and good morning. We're ready to leave the Big Texan, go get some breakfast, hit the road. There's only like a couple few trucks left in the parking lot. These guys idled all night. And that well, was actually really therapeutic. Uh, it sound, sounded nice sleeping next to these trucks all night. More thrift stores. Every one we pass, we gotta stop in.
today we are in eastern Oklahoma, starting to look a little bit more like home now, isn't it? Uh, we're going to be checking out this Gentry Creek campground. I think we found our site, number 22, right on the water with plenty of privacy. Look at this. This is uh, Lake Eufaula. Euf I think that's how you say it. It's a reservoir. Not far off Route 40 or Interstate 40, I'm sorry. And yeah, this park is like empty. They got uh, bathrooms and showers here too. 14 bucks for the night. Can't beat it. Hey Jane, come check out this algae on here. I think it's algae or something. It's like hair on the rocks after it dries. Check it out. Oh yeah. That's funky looking. What do you think of this spot? Beautiful. Let's feel. Yeah, we got the pole. Let's see what the water temp is. Ooh, it's actually not bad. We can go swimming too. Right? Warmer than what we've been around this whole trip. Moon over there, a glowing sky that the GoPro doesn't pick up that well. And then a really nice sunset on the water. Monroe's Club. I think that was the door, babe. Where are you going? Keep going. We don't know the song. Those Oklahoma winds. It was windy like this all night. Just steady breezes across the entire night shaking the camper. But good little spot. Except they locked the front gate at 10 p.m. And I mean, they lock it, and then the other side has spikes, so you gotta be sure to get back in here by 10 p.m. Never seen that one before. We rolled in a few minutes after 10 p.m., and luckily the gatekeeper was close by, so she was able to let us in now. to the T.O. Fuller State Campground where it's uh, the office is closed but it says just pick a spot pay in the morning and we are down to 46 psi on that left rear now so let me check out what's going on cute little spot here and I already hear the leak oh look at that we got a bolt or something toward the edge we get a plug for that Too big. There we go. Like now. <laughs> I'll let the old top compressor fill her up. I just did a comparison video a while back with that compressor versus my ARB. Uh, we'll pump that up to 80 and hopefully that plug doesn't pop out, but I think we'll be good. Here's all the tools I keep, uh, well, the quick access tools I keep in my truck. I got this Atlas 46 bag, freaking love the thing, it's like a roll-up bag. Well, that's not a roll-up actually, this is a pouch bag, but this is my roll-up and then I'll take the roll-up, put it inside of here, and then you can buckle them together and you got just, well, I'll show you later. But uh, yeah, some, some spare parts and such, nuts, bolts, more plugs. Uh, valve stems, hose clamps, radiator cap for a Toyota. This is actually 
from my old uh, my Hilux. I had an 89 Toyota pickup. And then, you know, stainless wire from Harbor Freight, U-joints for the truck. I got a welding glass here in case I had to triple up some batteries and do some welding. I do have welding sticks in there somewhere too. More hardware and stuff, you know, Teflon tape. On the hood, I got hoses, jumper cables, fluids, all sorts of stuff squirreled away. You know, uh, some antifreeze, more oil down here, and uh, also some spare parts. Anyway, that's a job done. I'll let that fill up, and then we're going to head into town. Took, took me a little bit too long to do that or what? No, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by <laughs> you being able to do that in the I mean, campground. If we're being honest, it did take me a while before. I was like, where did I throw those plugs? That's why I had to drag all this out. There we are, back up to 77. but more bluesy. Hey, uh, sir, can I get another drink? Thank you, man. Don't you see I'm busy? I'm busy. You guys got yangling out here or what? Not for you. Hey, Jim. Hey, yeah, you. baby. She's hot. World's best bartender over here. Hey! What's your name again, man? It's, uh... It's bartender? Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Shame Pennsylvania doesn't have more state campgrounds that have camping like this, or, or at least in Bucks County. Off on the road we go. Yes, right here. Look at it. Old school camper with a, a fifth wheel style coupling on it. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love this thing. Wish there was a for sale sign on it. You keep saying you got something for me. Checked in to Two Rivers Campground in uh, Nashville. I'm gonna stay here tonight. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to keep driving. Jen said no, we're staying in Nashville. She's gonna sing in a bar tonight, right? I don't know. Let's see. Seven, oh, right next to this guy. Love me a back in spot. Nice little privacy fence. What's up? What you wanna do? Well, Jen is sick of the truck camper, so. We're gonna look at some campers. Not maybe, sick of the truck. maybe buy a new camper. Oh wow! Oh, look at these steps. Oh, wow. Oh wow! This is so nice. Isn't it though? It really is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is so much better than what we have. Oh. Are we doing it wrong? Yeah, this is pretty nice. Wow, double bump outs. It feels so wide and big in here. There's so much room for activities. All right, we've decided against buying a camper today, but we'll be back. Jen feels jilted for being shoved into a, a tiny truck. A shoebox. A shoebox camper with a bucket for a toilet. 
I'll, I'll buy you a better life in the future, I promise. Oh look, the flag's not flying anymore. It's a big flag. Do you see this sky over here? Yeah, it's very cool. It's actually awesome. Oh, look, it's back to the shoe box. Oh. Call the commotion and you come to town Give my smile in the middle For your love and the friends They all go around But they don't like you And they don't like me La 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 Seven and a half On my eight side Try him out Right on, no problem No, no, no there's a problem a little tight? Too tight. I like these though. Can you find them in the It's name? too tight. No, I got a lot of yeah. Yeah, and take a big bite. Big bite of that. I've never seen you pick the camera up. Yummy? And how about you? Mm. How is it? Mm -hmm. Come on, baby, we gotta go. Okay. Uh, are we going down the program? Head into the Gaylord Mansion. Not a mansion. Whatever they, the Gaylord Opry. Opryland. Opryland. Jen says it's a must see. We finally got to park the bikes, which was very challenging. They're not bicycle friendly here, and car parking's thirty-two dollars. Can't imagine what it would be with the camper and the trailer. <laughs> so we illegally parked over at the mall. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. She's all scared too. She's scared we're gonna get in trouble. You think we're gonna get in trouble? We might not have our bikes to come back to. We're gonna have our we're bikes towed. You like? I like. I love. So pretty. Real vegetation too. Look, this one's coming out. You see that one growing out, Ed? Look how they come out. How cool is that? They start like this, and then they. So did you have one of these balcony rooms when you stayed here? No. No. That's got to be pretty cool at nighttime though. It's like $400. Coming out and looking down at the rainforest. $400 for one night. Pretty grand as well. Pretty grand. I love that it's all real little like, trees and plants. Yeah. Are you saying the boat takes you around yeah. this whole thing? So cute. Like a little town inside of a dome. Well, that was a big delay. Let's hit the road. 13 hours to home. Salem, Virginia. I'm gonna go check out a little seafood bar joint. Take a break. There's actually like 18 minute slowdown on the highway, so we decided to pull off. What do you think? We're a slingshot home tonight or what? Definitely not. Or crash at the cracker barrel. <laughs> You're gonna get that natural light on tap. I didn't even know they made it on tap. 
guy who just rolled up to the Cracker Barrel, and it is a little shanty town here. We had a great time at what was that place called that we were at the uh, the seafood joint? Awful Arnold's Seafood. And look how many campers are here at the Cracker Barrel. This is hilarious. <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna pull right, right in here. This is Jen's favorite spot, the Cracker Barrel Shanty Town. And this is the liveliest one we've ever been. <laughs> there's like there's like eight campers here. There's more behind us. Well, thank you, Cracker Barrel, for the good night of sleep and the delicious breakfast. Definitely dropping you a five star. All right, six hours till home. Jen is no more. <laughs> uh, she uh, she decided to keep sleeping in the camper since we only got like four or five hours of sleep. How was your nap? Fine. <laughs> Do you sleep the whole time? Back in Pennsylvania, home sweet home. Ice organics. This trip um, is almost over, baby. Says, what a bummer. And that's a wrap. We made it back home safe. All in all, an awesome, phenomenal trip. That was Jen's first time out west, uh, or at least driving. I think she flew out to Colorado once. But the Ram did good. The Clapper did better, even better. And we did 4,800 total miles. I think it was like 4,841. And our average miles per gallon, anywhere from 12 and a half to 14, almost 15 miles a gallon. But uh, I would say we averaged around 13, you know I mean? We were cruising 70, 75 miles an hour. Uh, trailer did good, only a couple flats, everything smooth, one dent in the camper. Uh, Jen, what do you think? It was, it was a good trip or what? It was the time of my life. Can't so, wait for the next one. Heck yeah, we're gonna get this cookie uh, tuned up some more, maybe get a different camper, who knows. But uh, yeah, if you watched the video this far, which I don't think anybody did, is this, is this thing re recording? I don't know if it is. Anyway, the, the red light on there is not blinking, but it says it's recording. Uh, yeah, listen, if you watched the video this far, hugely appreciate it. Uh, I love to do this kind of video, even though it doesn't usually get that many views because, you know, whatever. It's a, I don't know if I'm the, the best at vlogging, but I enjoy doing it. I really do. And if you watched it and enjoyed it, I really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, check out the channel if you're new here or any of that. And if you're not new here, I appreciate you being here. And I think that's it. So, all right. See you guys. No nonsense, no how. Over out. Hey, would you look at this? My neighbor even mowed my lawn for me. What a good guy. <laughs> good thing to come home to. Thanks, nah, Scott. man. Thank you. you the tire eye plug started leaking next day a little bit, and we assumed the plug started leaking, but look at that soapy water on there. No leaks at all. Turns out this left rear tire ended up getting another nail in it. What are the odds? Bobby, Bobby.